Hi there, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Jonathan and today we've got some well-endowed content to address. But before we do, I want to read a comment from my previous video. <laughs> this, this comment comes from Betty Cooper. Who's this thorn fella and why should I care? Hell, I'm twice as smexy and I don't get money for my pictures that I post. I reckon I should look into this OnlyFans crap. Betty, I reckon you should. I will subscribe 100%. I don't even have an account. I will make an account, put my credit card information in, and I will subscribe to you. I want to support my supporters. So there I am minding my own business when I get a text message from my cousin Ricky. It is an article from The Guardian, and the headline reads, Denmark launches children's TV show about man with a giant penis. According to the internet, John Dillerman has an extraordinary penis. So extraordinary, in fact, that it can perform rescue operations, etch murals, hoist flags, and even steal ice cream from children. And apparently it's getting some backlash. <laughs> and it's really interesting because the shenanigans John finds himself in because of his giant dick, uh, I, as an American, can relate to because we have gotten ourselves into some shenanigans because of a giant dick. But I digress. The show follows John Dillerman, Danish slang for penis. Dillerman literally means penis man. I wrote a TV pilot once and it didn't get picked up by anybody. Similar concept too. <laughs> As he gets into crazy situations at the fault of his meat stick, which he can't control, he must figure out how to get out of the situation by the end of the five minute episode. I forgot I was making egg rolls and that shit was burning. <laughs> My bad. Caillou has been off the air for five minutes. Five minutes. And we have this guy putting Tommy Lee to shame while walking the neighborhood dogs with his schlong. Let's see what the internet had to say. <laughs> Social distancing taken to the next level. Very controversial in Denmark right now. Very controversial is an overstatement. Polls by TV2 show a significant majority of people see it as fun and successful entry to an already long list of well-received kid shows. Sure, people speak about it, but it's only largely controversial outside of DK. I honestly think the US could use shows like this. Our culture makes everything to do with nudity and private parts something not to be talked about or over-sexualized. Except for the underlying message of, I'm not responsible, I can't control my penis. So this show is broadcast by DR, which is essentially Denmark's equivalent to BBC or PBS. And DR apparently has a reputation of pushing limits with its content, specifically aimed towards children. Another show they broadcast is Uncle Ray J. I don't think I'm saying that right. Who is a popular figure who curses, smokes, and is often found dancing in his underwear. Uncle Ray J and I have that in common. Despite this show looking like an Adult Swim sketch, it's actually aimed towards children from ages 4 to 8. According to The Guardian, the show's creator, Jacob Fay, a father of two young girls and a boy, claimed the show is about removing shame and embarrassment when it comes to our bodies without sexualization. However, Denmark's conservative crusaders have criticized the concept. And that's all onomatopoeia. No, that's not onomatopoeia. What is that? Con what is that? I should go back to school. The show comes just months after TV presenter Sophie Lind kickstarted Denmark's Me Too movement. A Danish author chimed in saying, is this really the message we want to send to children while we're in the middle of a huge Me Too wave? Not only that, but the Danish girls are gonna expect a lot more from the Danish boys when they get older. Like when I was 13 and I saw Kim and Ray J and thought by sophomore year, I would. Uncle Ray J. Ray J. Have you ever seen them in the same room together? God, I hope not. That would be an interesting conversation. <laughs> DR responded to the latest criticism by saying it could just as easily have made a program about a woman with no control over her vagina. And that the most important thing was that children enjoyed John Dillerman. I, I would have worded that differently, but maybe it's a culture thing. And I think that's what a lot of people are talking about online is that Americans have these big opinions about this. I mean, though there are people in Dana, Dana, Dana land, Dana, there are Danish people who have opposed the show, but a lot of the people who are saying something are American people who don't quite understand the culture that's there. So I'm not gonna put my own opinion on this. I can see where the problem would be like teaching young kids 
that there's this guy whose penis is out of control and you know maybe somebody grows up and says oh man my penis was out of control and um, instead of getting full prison time they get out because that's the way sometimes at least in America things tend to work. So let me know what you guys think about John Long Dong, Johnny Long, Johnny Long Dong. Uh, you can actually watch the episodes. I don't think all of them are up, but I think you can watch like five or six of the episodes um, online now. I had no idea what they were saying. I think I got past half of an episode. Was concerned, but entertained. And we'll leave it at that. So let me know what you think. Comment below <laughs> and maybe I'll read your comment in my next video. Make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I come out with a new video. I've been told once again that people are not getting notified when I come out with a video. So just make sure you're still subscribed. Follow me on social media as well as TikTok if you like weird shit. I post about weird shit there. And subscribe to my second channel if you want to watch me eat food and talk shit. So thank you so much for watching and until next time, keep your penis in control. Do it for the children. Uh, edit that out. Come on. Goodbye.